As the nation comes to grips with Friday's school shootings in Newtown, Connecticut, local school districts tried to react quickly. District administrators sent out letters, made phone calls, and provided support to those who need it. And in some cases, extra precautions were taken to provide a safe school environment. Delane Cleveland has more. The magic. The images of a normal school day consist of children learning and teachers teaching. Enter the school. But Friday in Newtown, Connecticut. There were several fatalities at the scene. The images broadcast over the national airwaves painted a picture of horror and innocence lost. This isn't a rare instance anymore. And I'm sad to say that. Jane Ellis is principal of Earl Brown Elementary in Brooklyn Center. And I think what's so devastating about this is that it hits home. Such disrespect for human life. Devastation that's reverberated throughout the nation. Yet at Earl Brown, teachers and faculty tried to conduct the day like it was business as usual, to the point that they asked us to use file video rather than bring cameras into classrooms. Having the camera crews there tells us that there's something extraordinary happening. And that wasn't the lens that we wanted to address the situation with. Instead, Ellis hoped to make today as routine as possible. Meantime, district officials admit that Earl Brown Elementary has one design flaw. The way that building was built, people can walk in the building without going into the office. However, from this day forward, they'll have somebody who monitors that door, checking the IDs of anybody who tries to enter. It gives a sense of confidence and security for our parents, for our staff. At least for the short term. Long term, Superintendent Lester says they're going to revise the school's crisis plan and proceed with a heightened sense of security. The door is locked, watching for strangers, watching kids for messages, watching, you know, all of those kinds of things that we have already have in place. Precautions that Lester hopes will keep all of Brooklyn Center's students safe. We'll take a deep breath and say, Let's take care of our kids and let's take care of each other. Delane Cleveland, 12 News. Brooklyn Center Schools do have one liaison officer who splits time between both the high school and the elementary school. District officials say the officer will have a greater presence at Earl Brown Elementary in the coming days.